helping make your life easier. Moms Every Day. Hey, welcome to Moms Every Day. I'm Hattie Cheek. We have Dr. Stephen Willems with us once again from Cabell Huntington Hospital and Marshall Neurology. Always good to have you. Good Always you. bring good stuff. Now, you have so many patients. You see them for various different reasons, but one of them is for overactive bladder. And what exactly is overactive bladder? Overactive bladder is a syndrome where people feel like they have to go to the bathroom urgency and actually go to the restroom multiple times frequency. And it's a condition that, that just dominates their life much of the time. And I mean, how common is it really? It's actually very common. Anywhere from 17 to 25 million Americans may be afflicted by overactive bladder. And it's actually, you really literally are going to the bathroom. It's not just that feeling that you have all of the time. It, it can be both. Uh, these people have this impelling desire to urinate. Uh, they have to go and then they, 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 they structure their whole life around uh, when they go to the restroom. And it's, I mean, it just sounds like it really does overcome their entire life when they have to deal with something like that. So how do you treat this? Well, the AUA guidelines, um, American Association uh, for Urology guidelines, suggest that um, you first change behavior. Uh, there's a lot of things people drink and eat that cause them to go to the restroom a lot, caffeine, sodas, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, the second line therapy is uh, medication intervention. However, there's sometimes that the behavior modification and medicines just don't work, and so we look at other options, tier three therapy. One of those is Botox, one of those is uh, neuromodulation, and one form of neuromodulation is posterior tibial nerve stimulation. Posterior tibial nerve stimulation is a new product that we're offering at uh, Cabell Huntington Hospital Marshall Urology where we actually access the nerve behind um, the medial malleolus called the posterior tibial nerve. And that's actually what you're seeing happening right here, right now. That's what you're seeing right now. And, and so um, the um, treater will actually stimulate uh, the nerve and it sends impulses into the system that controls the bladder and affects the way the muscle responds to wow. nervous impulses. That's, I mean, that's an interesting concept. It almost reminds me of, you know, you, sometimes people have muscle spasms, they'll have some pain, and I've seen people, you know, in sports offices, things like that, they'll be treated like that. So it looks very similar to that. It, it is very similar to a TENS unit. Uh, yeah. It is a neuromodulatory effect. So it changes the impulses that go into your bladder. And I mean, what's that process like? Is it long? Is it... Well, the, the process starts with 12 weekly treatments mm -hmm. for 30 minutes. Wow. And after that 12 weekly treatments, we give one treatment a month. And we actually did ask a patient, you know, in this video, how effective that the treatment was for her. Here is what she had to say. I was using the bathroom up to 30 sometimes a day, at least seven to eight times of the evening. And my gynecologist recommended uh, that I see Dr. Willems here. After the first treatment, I felt like I could notice a lot of difference already. Um, and the second treatment, I noticed a big difference because I wasn't going half as much in that pain I was feeling. I wasn't having it anymore. I have no nighttime bathroom habits now. Um, I have no pain. I was having to take like peridium every day, all day, and I don't even have to take that anymore. It's just like I'm back to normal, finally. I couldn't even go grocery shopping without having to go to the bathroom several times there. And now, you know, I can take my kids and I can enjoy my day out. I can go on longer trips than what we were doing because we had to center it all around, you know, bathroom stops and vacations and it was horrible. Now, something I noticed about that, she does have a child with her. Um, I, I mean, I've kind of heard of this. Moms having this issue, they have children. They, I mean, Is it a common thing after giving birth to, to, to kids? You can see that afterwards, uh, but more than anything, it's, it's more lifestyle and just the way you're made, your genetics. And some people are just predisposed to having an overactive bladder. And so you've seen this work wonders, I'm guessing. A lot of success. We, we will see about 60 to 70% response um, during the first 12 weeks trial and then subsequent to that um, about 70 percent of people will stay on protocol for that one week a month for the rest of their life to control their bladder symptoms and it's a whole lot better than taking medications. Yeah so it's a different option that you can get to you just kind of have to go through the process to figure out what's best for you. That's correct. All right and so if there's any more information that anybody needs to find uh, what's your advice? D just call Marshall Urology. Uh, the number's there on the screen. Um, just let us know and we'll, we'll get you in and take a look at you. All right and you, know, and you said a lot of people deal with it, so don't be afraid to come forward. I know it's kind of one of those 
awkward things where you don't like talking about it, but sometimes we just have to. So if you do need any more information, you didn't quite catch that phone number, you can head to our website. It has it on there. You just go to WSAZ.com, click on that Moms Every Day tab. You'll be able to rewatch this interview. And then we also just want to remind you of our Healthy Family segment coming up. That is tomorrow, September 5th, 11 a.m. until noon. So make sure that you tune in tomorrow morning for that right before midday. That's going to do it for us today. Have a good one. Thank you.